In our conversation yesterday morning, we were talking about could or should the president, could or should other politicians do more, speak out about Ferguson. We know that on Martha's Vineyard, the president did have a meeting yesterday morning with his attorney general, Eric Holder. The White House released a photograph of that. Uh, they called the governor of Missouri, Jay Nixon, and then the president came out and made a statement. And you'd have to say, let's listen to the statement, you'd have to say this got quick results. There is never an excuse for violence against police or for those who would use this tragedy as a cover for vandalism or looting. There's also no excuse for police to use excessive force against peaceful protests or to throw protesters in jail for lawfully exercising their First Amendment rights. Uh, am I right to say it's a very calm, but almost a textbook use of the bully pulpit, a very balanced statement. The president is critical of the violence, critical of the looting, uh, but then he essentially, without using hard words, uh, criticizes the police and the governor and says, change your ways. Uh, yes, and the governor acted uh, very quickly right. after that, as we saw the difference between what we've been seeing play out on TV between even yesterday morning and this morning has been really remarkable since the Highway Patrol took this over. But yes, the president did a very measured, careful statement. He's not the mayor. He's not the police commissioner. Mm -hmm. He does have a responsibility to be careful. Uh, and it, the, the tone, I thought, was perfect in that I would love to know what they privately said to the governor. And to be fair to the governor, we don't know if it was just right. the president's right. intervention that had him change his behavior, but within hours of the president calling him and then calling him out publicly, yep. he changes the command structure on the ground. Yeah, and you see the difference today. I mean, this uh, guy who's on the ground there being hailed and sort of greeted mm -hmm. as a hero. Uh, I think, you know, when people look back at this, there is a question about whether, and I was sort of looking at this in the conversation on Twitter, and Twitter's been very engaged right. in this. Some people were saying, well, why did it take the president so long right. to even do this? Because right. you did see right. that swift change. Change. Could he have done that Monday? Could he have done that Tuesday? Did it did it have to be a place that was essentially on fire by right. you know by Wednesday night and Thursday for the president to act? Because it did seem like once he stepped out there, you had a flood of, of action and a flood of other politicians uh, also there on the ground. Right. And White House officials say they were trying and hoping mm -hmm. to leave this to the local authorities, and then they reached the conclusion, to your point, that it was just spinning out of control right. and that it was bad and likely right. to get worse. And the president did come out and speak. And he also, we should remind folks, there is a Justice Department investigation of what happened, the, the Michael Brown shooting, and we'll watch this unfold. A calmer day this morning, and we're grateful for that.